Hello, Internet. Trusty Phil Brown here again with another movie review for this week. This week I'm taking a look at Magic in the Moonlight, the new movie by Woody Allen. If you're someone who follows and enjoys the work of Woody Allen, you'll know that every time we get a really transcendent, excellent, and fascinating movie like last year's Blue Jasmine, we're going to get at least one, if not a few, fluffy, meaningless little romps in between. Uh, Magic in the Moonlight is certainly one of those, but the good news is it's one that works and is actually kind of worth seeing. Uh, Colin Firth stars as the requisite Woody Allen surrogate a protagonist. He plays a magician slash skeptic who travels the world both to perform magic and also to debunk psychics and mystics and anyone who claims to have some sort of spiritual power. He's a highly rational man and who lives his life rigidly by those rules, very cynical, very cutting, kind of funny. Uh, he's sent off to Germany to debunk a new psychic who's been found, who's played by the wonderful Emma Stone in just a charming and pretty performance as one would expect from her. And wouldn't you know it, not only does he start to think that maybe she might have some powers, but more importantly, he might be falling for her. Uh, it's ultimately a very fluffy, kind of meaningless movie, but it is a meaningless movie with thesis, in this case being about the importance of the rational mind, putting aside such things to embrace the irrationality of love. I suppose that's a nice point. It's a little uncomfortable if you consider uh, what it might represent in terms of Woody Allen justifying his personal life and things that we like to uh, not care so much about uh, <laughs> regarding him. But if you put that aside, it is a very sweet, kind of charming little romp. Uh, Colin Firth is uh, really hilarious and cutting and uh, really sort of fits into the rhythms of Woody Allen's dialogue quite well. Emma Stone's very charming and sweet, and together they charm the pants off the audience. Um, that's really how you're going to get out of it. Uh, a couple good laughs, uh, some warmth, and a little bit of romance, and then the credits roll, and you either go home with a smile on your face or wonder what the heck that was all about. <laughs> it's uh, like all these little sort of one-off Woody Allen larks. They're pretty much just for Woody Allen fans. And as I said, this one is at least uh, successful in its very meager ambitions, and it's certainly worth checking out if you like Woody Allen or Colin Firth or Emma Stone, but if you don't like any of those three things, then certainly avoid it. Um, it's a bit of fluff, but it's entertaining fluff, and if you feel like that kind of fluff, you should fluff on over to the theater, or if you don't, then you should just go ahead and fluff off. This has been uh, Bill Brown, signing off for realtimerance.com.